Welcome to Dano Does Things. Today I'm trying something brand new, the craft I like to call needle felt painting. It uses similar skills and techniques as 3D needle felting, which I've been really enjoying, but instead of making an object, you're working on a flat surface. So far I've found working on flat craft felt is really easy and pretty cheap as well. Now to get started, cut out a piece of craft felt the size you want your piece to be. For ease, I made mine the same size as my felting surface so I wouldn't have to move the piece around while I worked. Next, lay strips of wool roping down on your surface and gently poke with your needle to adhere it to the craft felt below. As with things like oil or acrylic painting, we are working from back to front. So visualize what you want your final piece to look like and start with your background. Since I'm doing a moon in a starry galaxy sky, my background is black and I'm going to layer colors on top to give it sort of a Milky Way look. Trust me when I say a little goes a long way with the wool roving, especially when you're just trying to add a touch of color. Take a few strands at a time and poke them in. You can always add more on top if you want the color to be more vibrant or apparent. Highlight the Milky Way with just a few strands of white. Next we'll work on the moon itself. Lay down your white roving and then poke in where you want the edges to be. Once the edges are secure, you can fold the sides in over the edge and felt them down. That will help you achieve a nicer line if that's what you're going for. Layer more white until it's opaque and you can't see the black background through it. Next we add some craters using the grey wool roving. With this you can literally work with the tiniest strands just to give it some colour. Add another layer of white on top to make the craters have more depth and not look so bold. Fix up any strays. You can leave it wispy for texture or you can really smooth everything out. Remove your piece from the felting surface and give it a little trim around the edges. Next we will add some stars to our sky with white embroidery thread using a technique called French knots. Now I am not so great at them, so I'll link a good tutorial below on how to actually do them properly. Scatter your stars through the sky, adding as many or as few as you want. I think they look best when they're asymmetrical, but there's no wrong way to place them. Secure your thread on the back with a knot. Finish up by snipping off any stray threads and you're done. These needle felt paintings make really cool decorations on their own or would look awesome in a frame with glass or without a glass so you can see the texture. Or you can glue them to some heavy cardstock and make some really cool impactful greeting cards. Thanks for watching.